Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I found a neat little program that lets you monitor the mic input on your computer. And you're probably thinking, why would I need to do this? Well, let's say you're hooking up the RT, the Redivus RT97S repeater or the uh, Midland uh, MXR10 repeater. Those GMRS 2A radio repeaters do have a data port on the side of them and one of the pins is speaker out so you have to feed the speaker out into the computer or whatever um whether it's it's the repeaters you're hooking up or if you're taking two handhelds it does not matter um what uh it is but if you want to check the microphone if there's sound going into your sound card if you want to check that, this simple little program will do that. As you can see, as I'm talking, it's showing that, hey, I have sound going to the microphone. Now, when you install, this program is free. There's no cost. It does seem to work on a Windows 11. Just to let you know that I, I had it on there. But I want to couple, there's a couple things I want to show you about this program um, that's very important. The first thing is, is you got to select which sound card you're using meaning how are you feeding the sound into the computer are you using usb sound like a usb sound card or are you using the jacks on the computer so that's real simple to do now after you install the program you can click anywhere in this window right click and it will call up the options of this program now i want to show you a couple things here first off right here let me get my fancy little pen here. Right here is where you got to tell it. This is very important. If you do not select the right thing, you're going to think you're, you have no sound. So make sure that you select this right here. Okay. There's a little drop down menu. Okay. In my case, I have it selected to the USB microphone that you see that I'm using to make this video so you can see the audio going up and down. But if I was to hook it up to the jack, my computer jack, without using a USB microphone or sound card, I would select the jack. So you got to do that. That's the first thing you got to do. Okay. After you select that, there's a couple of options. If you want to tweak it, if you don't, it's up to you. Um, let me clear this. One of the things that I changed, well, actually, I'm going to get my pen, is the peak hold time. It was at two seconds. That's after when it hits the peak, it will kind of have like a delay. I put it to one because I didn't want that. The other thing here is the delay rate. It was at one or two. I can't remember. And that means how fast does it drop down? When I'm done, when the sound is done, does it hang a little bit so you can see it on the meter? I want it to be a fast, decent drop down rate. So I put it on 10. Obviously, you can go as 1 to 10. So, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go ahead and clear that. Let's get my, now if I change this to 1, and you can't do 0, obviously. See how slow? See that? I didn't like that. It's too slow. So I like it on 10. Okay. You can put whatever you want. Same with the color. It's green. You can adjust that. Um, so you can, you know, name it, whatever. I like the always on top function. I check, I check that box right here. And that means no matter what window, what program I have running, this will always be on top of it so I can see it. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why would I need to do this? Well, let's say you're hooking up your, your GMRS radio to, to your computer and you're having problems. You don't know if the sound's coming out. You don't have a you know, scope or anything like that. You just quickly want to see, do I have sound going into my, into my microphone jack? Is it coming in? You can use this program to quickly check. Make sure you select, like I said, very important, you select what device you, you have that. That's very, very important. Um, but this will let you do that so that you can see, oh, I have sound coming in. Or if you, you know, want to change a delay on there like I just showed you, you might be able to tweak it if you need to. 
um, you know, if you have a sound adjustment, like if you had a handheld hooked up, you, you know, you, you want to turn it down a little bit on the, on the volume control, which feeds the microphone in the computer, you can uh, tweak it to see, you know, make sure you don't hit too much of the red or whatever level you, you, you know, you can start with. So this is very handy. There's no, there's no additional wires. You just install the program, select what, how you're hooking it up, whether it's a USB sound card or the jacks on the um, computer. It does say the word jack. Um, I just have it hooked up to the USB so you can see it work as I talk. So, but you got to make sure you select the right one and then voila, you know, very simple to use. It's a free program. I'll post a link to the gentleman's website. I just come across it here a while back ago, and that's what I kind of use to kind of help monitor when I'm building my circuits. You know, hey, do I, oh, no, how come my sound ain't, you know, I don't hear nothing. Oh, I don't have no sound. Okay, well, I got something wrong. So that's kind of why, that's one of the programs I kind of use to help troubleshoot. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.